Today at the Hagatnya Mayor's Office, there was an outreach program to help the homeless. It was initiated with the Guam Housing Urban Renewal Authority. GURA is the government lead agency for providing homes for lower income families. For the past several years, First Lady Joanne Camacho has partnered with the agency to help the homeless with outreach programs such as the one being held today. Camacho says their target for today is to help the unsheltered homeless in Haganya and Tumuning by providing a number of services for them. Basically, we're doing health screening, uh, employment um, applications, and one, the one-stop career centers here. We have Guam Legal Services here as well to basically um, see if there's any legal needs that they have. And of course, there's many people here in the community, and it's really to, to reach out to them and just touch them and find out um, how we can get them um, out of the streets and into a home. Um, they just need love, as far as I see it. Camacho says everyone who lives in our community and calls Guam their home should be concerned and should help whenever they can. In addition with today's outreach program, Camacho, along with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Guam Department of Agriculture, and the University of Guam, joined together to start a people's garden across the street from the mayor's office. To plant uh, fruits and vegetables that would sustain themselves. Um, anything that's grown here, will give it to um, Camelin, where they normally anyway eat dinner every night and see what they can use it for. And from there, we'll see where it goes. Um, same thing I did when the um, Salvation Army. Some of the vegetables planted are peppers, eggplants, cucumbers, and green onions. Camacho says the garden is currently on Chamorro Land Trust property, but no permanent structures are being built on it. She says this is a pilot program, and if the Chamorro Land Trust needs it, they will go from there. But for now, it is helping provide food for the homeless. David Macaluso, PNC News.